Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak. When we last left off, we got ourselves to the final chapter. Lydia here has had a little bit of a sleepy for a questionable amount of time. Uh, we found the grenade launcher. And my chaos kitties have done a hell of a number on my recording setup. Um, yes, bless the little bastards, shall we say. They've managed to uh, jump on my computer. Completely balk up all of my settings on... I keep just wanting to call it Sony Vegas, but it's not Sony Vegas, it's Magic Vegas now. Um, they've also deleted a couple of my videos for Halo uh, Reach, which I now have to go back and record. Uh, because when you delete a video, when you delete a file, you know, it goes into the recycle bin, yaddy yaddy yaddy. But not my videos for my recordings, because they are so large, they don't go into the recycle bin, they get permanently deleted. Uh, they're too big to go into the recycle bin, basically. So, bless their little hearts. Uh, I also noticed yesterday, the first video of this game went up, and I... Got it all sorted, edited it all, synced up all the sound and everything, cut off the beginning and the end, blah, blah, blah. Went out, made a cup of coffee, come back in, um, and then rendered the project. But they must have reset all of my work, shall we say, or say work loosely, because I noticed that um, <laughs> all the stuff that was cut off at the beginning of the video, before the video was meant to start, was actually still there. You can hear me trying to sync up all of the audio and stuff by going into this and saying... This is actually, like, if if you need tips on how to sync audio, because when I record from a games console on my HD60, there is exactly one second... Well, it's, it's pretty much exactly one second of audio delay from a console. So all I do is find something that is very visual in the interface. Switch is brilliant for it. The Xbox is brilliant for it. PlayStation, eh, the animations and sounds are a little bit too um, delayed, but you, you, there are workarounds. Uh, but with the Switch, I just go over to the uh, say sleep mode and I'll make a sound at the same time I push the button say for instance pushing a boop, and I will match up the sound of uh, the switch and the animation and my audio it's actually a really uh, efficient way of doing things and then all I know that I've got to edit my soundtrack pull that forwards by well push it back actually by roughly a second blah 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 but yes the cats uh, reset all of that and by the time that I thought about re fixing the video I've seen that like loads of people have already seen it and it's just oh God damn it Okay, so anyway, enough of that. So here we are, Lydia. We have our grenade launcher. We also have the... What weapon was that? It doesn't actually tell you. An easy to handle firearm. It doesn't actually tell you what it is once you've actually got it in your inventory. But yeah, we've got the standard pistol and we have the grenade launcher. So, let's go. It's a weird chapter. Kind of feels like he phoned it in at the end, to be honest. Lydia ventured back into the connecting hallways, her heart racing. She saw the monstrosities had broken through one of the doors that led to the lower levels. She quickly ran for the passageway that led deeper into the main level of the manor. None of her prior work in clearing the rooms amounting, uh, amounting to anything as the monsters crawled their way through. She could only move forwards. She burst into one of the other bedrooms in the barracks, eyeing up some new threats. She readied the grenade launcher. She was taking everyone, every last one of these things with her. Yeah, but it was strange. They didn't notice her at first. Usually they were bloodthirsty and seeking her out. She examined the creatures from afar. Was it 30 seconds, 30 minutes? She didn't know. She snapped back to attention, blood pulsing through her veins. Everything had to die. Good stuff. Yep, everything's gotta die. Right. Now, this, yeah, this final chapter is a bit strange. Um, it's... Whoa, bit of lag there. Essentially, the shooting gallery, going back through some of the older rooms. It's odd, to say the least. Everything is red. 
Um, apart from that, it's business as usual. Now, as soon as we exit this room, we'll be transported into another another area. It's always worth searching these areas because, yeah, there is stuff to find. We've got a lot of monsters to waste. Anyway, keep going. Lydia ran as fast as she could, her vision dimming, her heart pumping. She was in a blind sprint through the adjoining hallways. She pushed the creatures aside and tried to save her ammunition. A few got in, some slices and strikes, but she bandaged herself up the best she could and moved on. The moans behind her grew. She was making good progress despite the difficulty in seeing where to go. Eventually, she had to rest. She barricaded the door. She came through as best she could and just sat on the floor, blood pooling in her lungs. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't sound good. That's pretty bad, you know. Blood pooling in your lungs. I mean, that's game over, really. She blacked out, maybe for 20 minutes. What, with blood filling your lungs? Okay. Uh, it was the scratching on the walls that brought her back. Like they were all trying to tear through at all costs to get to her. Was it the hunger? All she knew was she was hungry. It was an intense feeling. More than any she'd ever felt in her life. She had to keep moving. Hmm, doesn't sound good for Lydia here, does it? Lungs filling with blood, that's pretty bad. Right, what have we got here? We have a zombie. Oh, God, hang on. Get the gun out. Oh, I can hear wet meat. Hey, we've got a twitcher, that's fine. We can, oh, God. We can handle a twitcher, I say, in confidence. He's gone. Seven rounds left. we got a chunky monkey over there. Yeah, we can just about hit him. Come on, big boy. Oh. Uh, guess you can't take your medicine. Oof. Straight over, like a sack of spuds. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, I'm not sure why the rocket launcher just, uh, or the grenade launcher just does not aim. It kind of like aims in the very vague general direction. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there at all. It is strange. Uh, and it's, it only appears to be the rocket launcher that does that as well. We probably don't need healing items. I say probably. You know. Um, right. Do we have... Oh, some more grenades. Yes. Yes, I will have the grenades. Thank you very much. I thought this was going to be... Something a little bit different, which I will explain in a minute. Let's keep going. Lydia stumbled on, a rage growing in her that she had never experienced before. As her vision worsened, her reflexes improved, and the hunger, the hunger was overwhelming. She had to eat. She reloaded her weapons. She knew her time was short. If she had any hope of survival, she had to get outside, get to freedom. She smashed in a creature's face right in front of her. It bit into her hand and she smashed its skull with the back of her weapon. She could tell she was bleeding internally. Well, yeah, if she could feel her lungs filling with blood, that, mm -hmm, yeah. I mean, that's as internal bleeding as it gets, really. She tore open the barricade she had created earlier. She crawled her way upwards, tearing a vent apart. She crawled in and kept moving. She came out in one of the areas near the top of the manor. She remembered it. The gore from her earlier visit was everywhere. She readied herself. She could hear the moans through the walls. There must have been a gigantic crowd on the other side. She slammed open the door and began firing. Gigantic crowd on the other side, huh? Well, we'll see about that. We indeed will see about that. Thanks, phone. Now, as for a gigantic crowd, oh god, let's actually equip the weapon. Ooh! Actually, that's, yeah, that's a bit of a big crowd there. Oh god. We overheat the old, uh, X1. Ooh. Yes. We will have a 
Ooh, I have the shotgun. And the shotgun shells. Uh, I'm not sure if I found all that before. But we'll definitely want the grenades. Let's load up. I guess we're not going through the fire. Yeah, so, it, I mean, I think one of the problems with this is it's making it sound really epic with everything that's going on, but that's just sadly not quite reflected in the gameplay. Um, you know, what do you, what do you want? You know, I guess. Uh, she was close. She was right outside the courtyard now. The bodies of these creatures lay at her feet. She surveyed the broken limbs and destroyed remains. Whatever she was now, this wasn't humanity. Her vision was nearly blacked out. She fumbled for the doorknob and opened it out. The stench hit her right in the face. It was overpowering. She took a step outside. The size of the creatures never failed to amaze her. These brutes uh, were there, milling around. She gazed at the gate past them. She readied her remaining equipment near death, the virus raging within her. Oof. Oof, indeed. Alright, so here we are, outside. It's ready the grenade launcher. Pick up the last grenades. Ooh! Hello! Got this big fella. Now, unfortunately, grenade launcher is really not a very good weapon to use against him. Because, as we've seen, it doesn't knock him back, and I don't know why. In fact, the shotgun doesn't really knock him back that much either. Oh, that's it. Yeah, grenade launch is a bit pap. As the monsters fell, Lydia was brought to her knees. The virus flowing through her was finally taking its toll. The strength she felt was leaving. She was outside, but... She could no longer stand. She started crawling towards the tree line. She had to escape, but her vision was virtually gone. She had no idea which way to go. It was becoming difficult to breathe. Her lungs f were filling with liquid, and she was coughing horribly. Poor Lydia. That's rough. Lydia wasn't going to find the other survivors. She couldn't even save herself. All of this fighting was for nothing. She should have stayed in the river and died days before. The last thing she saw before losing consciousness was a series of bright lights. Their voices were so soft, she couldn't tell what they were. Then darkness. Complete darkness. No sound. No feeling. No rush of emotion or the feeling of blood beating in her heart. There was finally silence. Finally peace. Her nightmare had ended. She was left only with their screams. Chapter 4 complete. Results. S rank. Of course, you know, only 12 kills. Items used. Shots fired. Total saves. The shots fired doesn't appear to. Uh, <laughs> and that's end. The events uh, are fictitious. Right. So, uh, mm, yeah. Interesting way to wrap this game up, I suppose. I kind of appreciate what they were going for at the end. You know. Yeah. It would have been a little bit better if there were more enemies. Maybe the engine can handle it. I, I don't know. Um, maybe it just would have been a little bit silly. You know, given the size of these rooms. I don't mind the fact that we went all the way back through some of the rooms. I thought that was quite interesting. And as she ran outside... You know, she heard voices and whatnot. Was that like a, a medical team arriving to save her? But then it said, you know, she heard nothing but their screams. So I guess they got killed. Lydia's dead. Uh, mm. It's a, it's an interesting ending. And one that I don't necessarily dislike. But it's vague with the rest of the game. Pretty much, to be honest. Like, Lydia, it would have been nice for a little bit more character development with her because you don't really care about her because you don't know her, you know? Um, it would have been nice if they injected a bit more of her personality into it with some maybe some uh, dialogues or, or maybe when you're transitioning through rooms they could have had some text come up. Yeah, I know, more text, right? But more text with her thoughts 
um, you know, something. That charge back through the game as well would have been more interesting if they had changed her character model. Like if she looked bloody or, or maybe even started to turn into one of the creatures. What I did think when I first played this... I did wonder if eventually we were going to turn into one of the monsters, kind of like on the final scene and, and Lydia would be one of them. Even if she was just a zombie, I would have thought that would have been a pretty interesting way to end the game. Uh, but you know, if it is what it is. I mean, judging it for what it is, it's uh, a single bloke making this game. You know, he's he's tried with it. That's what I will say. He's put effort into it. It's not like he's just shoveled out some shit. And um, he's under no illusions as well. Like, he, he likes the game that he made. And he likes the series that he made. Uh, he seems to be very passionate. And he's very accept uh, accepting of criticism as well. Uh, a lot of things that people have said to him about making slight improvements to the game... Um, he has implemented in future games, which, you know, tip my hat to him. I've seen other developers on Steam that delete negative comments and all that kind of stuff. He doesn't do that. You know, um, I've seen some really nasty comments on Steam about the game and he just puts at the bottom, like, thanks for the feedback, thanks for playing my game. You know, so... Is this game worth full price? Would I pay the $12.99 for it? Honestly, no. <laughs> no, you, you're really pushing the the absolute limit. Uh, you know, if, if I was judging this on a £10 or, or a £15 game, yeah, my opinion of it would be very different. But my opinion for, for a £4 kind of, you know few hours romp of zombie fun yeah it's all right you know it it does what it says on the tin i had my fun with it it's definitely not gonna win any awards but i would like to play the other games in the series and i would like to see where the series goes from here you know um it's nice to have something new in this vein and I know there are a few other uh, survival horror style games coming out. Reaver of Jewel Sandwiches over the years has turned my uh, attention to some of them, which I did write down in a note on my desktop. And yeah, I reformatted my computer, didn't I? I also had a demo of one of them, which looked quite interesting. I'm going to look it up. Uh, you seem to be playing as Alice. Well, you look like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> But he was going around a mansion and it, it was kind of interesting. Shooting zombies in the face and doing proper puzzles. It also had, it was a new game. I don't think at the time uh, he mentioned it, which is probably about six months ago. I don't think it was out yet, but there was a free demo. And the graphics were basically OG Resident Evil 1 as well. You know, a little bit better than that, but it was that sort of thing. Uh... So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's Outbreak, the Nightmare Chronicles. Like I say, very easy to laugh at it and call it a big piece of dog shit until you think, well, you know, it's only a, a really cheap budget title made by one person. And then when you think about it in that context, hmm, not bad, not bad. Like to see more. I wouldn't recommend necessarily anybody runs out and buys this for a, 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 a for a resident evil fix but if you're just looking for something cheap to have a bit of fun with pick it up on sale i think you'll get that from it i really do um so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always it's